How's it going boys? My name is Davis and welcome back to another YouTube video and yet another player review. Andre Silva is currently the second highest goal scorer in the Bundesliga behind, uh, I believe he's like maybe five or six goals behind Lewandowski. Uh, I think Haaland is just below Andre Silva as well. But either way, the Bundesliga, to be honest, has been a very, very entertaining league to watch this year, especially between sixth and fourth. There's literally only like a two point difference. So it's a very, 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 very fun league to watch and Andre, Andre Silva has been on on absolute fire. This this team of season is definitely deserved. My only complaint is 91 rated, really like he's the second highest scorer in Bundesliga and the top scorer is obviously Robert Lewandowski who's not going to stop scoring anytime soon. So to even be the second highest scorer and to only get a 91 rated team of a season in my opinion is a little bit unfair and I feel like EA this year especially have really really nerfed the ratings a little bit. But either way boys coming in at 6 foot tall Medium, medium work rates, which I can already see may not be amazing. Right footed, he has got the four star skills, which is brilliant, but he is lacking that three star weak foot, which I mean, once again, as a striker, three star weak foot will be painful. And I feel like this one is definitely going to be the cheapest uh, cheapest Bundesliga card. He's already 90,000 coins and he's only been out for 40 minutes. So I'm going to have a look at his in game. I'm going to actually have a look at his body type because I notice he's six foot tall and I'm hoping it's not a high and average body type. So let's have a look. He's got in, he's got an average body type, which isn't. Bad, but it's not amazing. For me, the lean body type is always the best body type. It's the most responsive body type. They feel the best on the ball. But either way, 86 pace as well. We have gone ahead and we have chosen a catalyst, which I'll tell you why in a minute. So he goes from 86 pace, he goes to 99 acceleration and 91 sprint speed. So he goes to 95 pace in game. And we needed that plus 10 pace boost. For me, 86 pace, even if I was to go for an engine, which would be my second chemistry style choice, that only gives you a plus five. And even with an engine, I feel like 91 pace isn't quite enough. Even even at this point of the game, with Team of the Season, Varane's got like 93 pace or something. So obviously the fullbacks at centre-back meta, your striker has to be fast, and I feel like even with a plus 5 from an engine, that's not enough. So you need that plus 10, and uh, I mean his shooting is basically max. 98 finishing, 99 positioning, 94 shot power, so I feel like a hunter is pointless. So I've gone ahead and I've chosen the catalyst, like I said, putting him to 95 pace in game. His passing also goes to 95 crossing, 98 short passing, 90 long passing, and 98 curve which passing as a striker is in, in my opinion a very underrated stat as for dribbling he's got 90 agility not too bad 85 balance not amazing six foot 85 balance average body type nothing crazy but he's got some nice dribbling some nice reactions and um, be best of all he's got the 89 stamina so he'll hold up perfectly in that situation and he does have that outside of a foot shot so this is the lineup we will be playing him in today um, if you guys don't know we packed Moments Vigo so this is also Moments Vigo's debut and it's also Kunde and Alba's debut for the club as for the in-game formation, we are going to be playing him as a striker alongside Pale. I actually have to switch this around, Vieira and Pale is kind of mixed up a little bit. So we'll be playing him in-game alongside Pale um, in a 4-3-1-2. And we are going to have him on stay central, get him behind and stay forward. The exact same with Pale. Without further ado, boys, let's get into the review. I forget to mention, if you guys have watched some of my videos in the past, you will know that this is a completely new setup, and I know I am quite close to the camera, it's because my TV monitor is small, and to actually play good, I have to be like relatively close to the monitor, so that's why the camera is quite close, you know, a little bit of a forehead cam going. Here we go, boys, we are playing foot champs, because I mean, why not, and to be honest, Andre Silva, he looks brilliant in the Wellington Phoenix kit. Here we go, now the team we'll be facing in the first game, we're either going to be facing a god or we're either going to be facing someone not great. And I can already tell he's a sweat. Player of the month in Barpe, Neymar, Zidane, Zambrotta off Kim, and his name is Survivor uh, FC. So, I mean, you can already tell this is just going to be a sweaty opponent. For birthday, Italian and Renato as well. Here we go, boys. Big game and a big test for Andre Silva. There you go. Andre Silva here. Burst impressions, he doesn't feel amazing on the ball and he doesn't feel bad on the ball. Obviously, I feel like you can notice that uh, average body type and being six foot with only 85 balance, you can notice it, but it's not bad by any means. He's not going to be like, you know, Ibrahimovic bad, but he's not going to be like Ben Yedda and Mbappe responsive, if you know what I mean. He's like a mixture of both. Andre Silva, he does get that ball through. I, I kind of misread that though. It's up to Andre Silva. There we go. Time back through to Pale. Not a great pass, but we've made it work. And like I said, that catalyst passing as well. It was a heavy touch from Pale's part. That catalyst from on Andre Silva, like like I said, you need that plus 10 pace boost, and a hunter is literally pointless because he's already got max shooting, basically. He's like one off 99 finishing. So that's just unnecessary. Go on, Andre Silva. Big shot around. Finish that. What a fucking goal. What a fu dude, dude, come on. 
Come on, baby. That's what we're talking about. Beautiful positioning. I saw that mid-sentence as well. I saw his positioning. He was just staying on side, and obviously a nice fake shot around. His agility and balance held up perfectly fine there. Perfectly responsive in that situation. Like I said, a, a big clunky player will not be getting out of that alive. So that just proves that, you know, he, he is relatively responsive, just not, you know, Pale, Mbappe, Neymar and responsive, if you guys know what I mean. Beautiful finish, though. Puts us 1-0 up. Huge goal there. Andre Silva, once again, triggering that run. You know what? I didn't even see that until he started making the run. What we're going to do, we're just going to keep going. A heavy touchdown to Pale. You know what? Uh. <laughs> my, <laughs> my opponent did not mean to do that. Okay, <laughs> what? The thing is, my opponent is actually good as well. This has been a tight match. Has, did he maybe lose control or something? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll take it. Um, what? Give it up to Andre Silva. Once again, you see he's staying on Siberia with a touch. Lovely. Back to Andre Silva. Time back for Figo. It's a very, very late pass. As you guys saw, you would have seen it in the top right as well of my controller. I registered that through ball to Figo a lot earlier than it actually registered. Looks like it's going to be the half. We'll take it. One the luck going into half. What I can say is he's not not responsive, but he's not as responsive as you would like as a striker, especially at this point of the game. But nonetheless, his positioning is insane. His attacking AI is inception, would say, is insane. And nonetheless, his shooting is incredible. He set up that second goal as well, obviously picking up the main goal. And that second goal was a little bit of a whoopsie on my opponent part but hey who are we to complain with two nil up and like I said I mean that that really Pale wasn't connecting with that and any day of the week that should be the defender's ball or the, the keeper would have picked it up but Andre Silva technically that's like an, an assist I guess you could say um so he set that goal up just if my opponent didn't you know have a have a like bozo moment then it wouldn't we wouldn't have got anything from it so let's just say we're lucky but still nonetheless Andre Silva did well to get in that position Right boys, so we are holding off the lead, and to be honest, my opponent is all over me. So what we're going to do is we're going to change formations to a 4-2-3-1. It is more defensive, Vieira and Hula in the midfield. We're going to move Silva up to striker. We're going to move Fernandez to central camp. We're going to bring on Hazard, and we are actually going to bring on... You know, I'm going to keep it like this. Let's give Figo another run at right, or right cam. Honestly, I'm not getting along with Figo at the moment, boys, as you could probably tell by the last clip. But 2-0 up, 15 minutes to survive, a 4-2-3-1, Silva with our lone striker. So let's see, he's more going to be playing target man role now. Matt Hazard, nice, Bruno. Bruno still going through to Silva. Silva, I see Bruno, go on. <laughs> that is cheeky. Bring your keeper out. You won't, mate. Bring your keeper out. He's not going to. We're going to shoot that. That's an assist for Andre Silva. What a beautiful ball. That's one of the things. That is one of the goals where the assist is better than the goal. Genuinely beautiful. One goal, one assist, and surely that's a game in a bag. Is he going to quit? Is he going to quit? He's going to quit. Come on. Huge performance from the man. Let's watch your goals back, and then we are going to head over to the pros and cons. Dropping an 8.6, obviously a goal and an assist, and then kind of creating that third, the second goal there as well. Very, 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 very good game. So as you can see, the first goal here, it's not going to show the third as we did quit, but perfect positioning right there. Fake shot around and a beautiful finish near post. And as for this, like, he, he's going through. I wanted that to connect to Palais, and my opponent just had a bozo moment. As for the assist, it's not going to show, but that was a beautiful assist. He did really well to control that, turn his body around, and then chip that ball over. He did very well in that situation. Let's hop over to the pros and cons. Genuinely, my opponent was good. He made me, my hands are sweating. That adds something to say. To be honest, lads, I, I really liked this card, but he wasn't a card that I wouldn't say is necessarily meta. And if EA do release Bundesliga packs, I feel like he's going to be in a lot of them. So maybe this video will perform better than usual because everyone's going to be searching about this card. Because he has only 90,000 coins and he's literally only been out for just over an hour now. So he's going to be 50 to 60,000 coins this week. Legitimately, he'll be the cheapest Bundesliga team of the season. Now, do I think he's terrible? No. Do I think he's insane? Not at all. He's a middle, he's like a mid-tier card. He's an average card. And I think the thing is, the medium, medium, the three-star weak foot, which like I said, I would prefer the skill moves over the weak foot anyways. Uh, six foot with an average body type, he's not the most responsive. And I feel like when the gameplay is fast, he'll be very, very solid. When the gameplay is slow, he's going to struggle even more. He's going to struggle a lot. Also, I do notice as well, I feel like you really do need to have a more small, agile striker with the five-star skill moves behind him. 
if you're playing a 4 free one two like I am with a cam, I would really, really recommend having a cam like Flashback Coutinho, even like Lionel Messi, you know, a very small, agile player that can deliver the balls to Andre Silva because Andre Silva will just bang them in for fun. You have to learn how to use this card right, and I feel like, you know, just the classic dribbling around with him in the box, trying to turn your opponents quickly, he's not that type of player. As a target man, he'll be absolutely perfect. So, starting off with the pros, it is going to be his shooting, it's going to be his dribbling, and by that, obviously, I mean his 93 reactions, his 93 ball control, and it is going to be the outside of a foot shot trait, a very, very crucial trait to have. And as for the cons, it is going to be his body type, it is going to be his pace, and it is going to be his freeze star weak foot. Now when I say his body type, obviously with the average body type, I'm not a fan of it. Free star weak foot, as I said, it's not a massive deal, but yes, it will be a con, especially at this point of the game, but it's not a massive deal, and as I said, I do prefer the skill moves. And the pace of 86, yes, he does go to 95 of a catalyst, but even then, like, <laughs> you know, it's really good having a fast striker. Let's say 92 pace, because then you can just chuck a hawk on him, and you'll improve pace, shooting, and physical, whereas this, with this card right here, once he's only got 86 pace, you're very restricted, you have to choose between a catalyst or a hunter, hunter is pointless, so if you want him to be fast, you have no other option really than a catalyst, and in that way, you're basically neglecting his 85 balance, which I'll probably really like a boost on that as well, and his 86 strength isn't amazing, but when you do have a target man, and you want to use him to his advantages, you want to give that strength up a little bit as well, so you are really restricted with chem styles once his pace is is so low and I feel like a plus 10 pace boost is a must have. This card for 70,000 coins or 90,000 coins, he'll be dropping a lot. So for 90,000 coins and for how cheap he is, he's a very, very good card for the price. So based on value today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to give him a nice solid 7 out of 10. In the long scheme of things, obviously I've gone from using a team of a season Benzema to him, so it is a big difference. And in terms of comparing him to top tier players like an Mbappe, oh, he'd be like a 5 out of 10. But once he is so cheap, and I feel like lots of you guys will be packing him in upgrade packs, he's not a bad card, he's going to get a nice solid 7 out of 10 and is he worth it yes he is because he's cheap he's very very cheap and worst case you don't like him you can resell him but for 70k coins i'm gonna give him a tick it's been your boy davis hopefully this did help you out if you are new make sure to drop a like and subscribe till next time lads i'll see you later peace out guys